good morning. Today's gonna be a great video. I have a really, really busy day. Um, this video is also sponsored by Daily Harvest, which they are one of my favorite sponsors ever. I'm doing a little bit of everything today. I wanna do a couple workouts. I have to film my podcast. I have to do stride admin stuff. And I have to go into stride to train people. Some days I wake up and my phone is just going off because of um, work. And that's today. I've really been craving running, which is so crazy because after my half, I said I wanted to keep running, but I kind of knew that like I wanted a little break. But I've been really craving running again, so it's gonna get warmer as the day goes on. So maybe I'll go for a run in the middle of the day. I normally never chill with my hair in like a ponytail like this either, but today it just feels right, you know? I actually have a couple new skincare products that I wanna show you that I've been loving. The first thing that I've been loving is this Paula's Choice um, replenishing toner. I feel like, it just feels like a shot of hydration and it just feels so good. And I just put it on my hands. You can use a cod pad if you want, but my hands work fine. I think I'm gonna do like a whole morning skincare and nighttime skincare routine on my Instagram reels. And then I've also, I picked up the Paula's Choice. I'm really loving Paula's Choice skincare right now. I just think the products are really, really good. Um, I picked up the Paula's Choice C15 Booster, and this is vitamin C with vitamin E and for Lewic acid, I don't know. I really only bought it because I needed a new vitamin C. To be honest, I don't know if vitamin C really does anything to my skin. I mean, they say it makes it even, but I feel like my skin was never uneven. So I guess it's working, but to be honest, it just feels really, really good in the morning. I feel like it's just like a shot of vitamin C. Oh, which by the way, I need to take vitamin D because I think everyone's saying, everyone's vitamin D deficient. That's why you feel so blah in the winter. I think there's a lot of reasons why I feel blah in the winter, but if it'll help, I will take it. And I feel like I have vitamin D here, so I need to look. And then I just put on my favorite moisturizer ever over top. It's just the Moisture Surge Intense by Clinique. Some mornings I'll also put on eye cream, but today I don't feel like it. I need like all the beverages with me today. This weird thing has been happening where I wake up and I'm not hungry until like 11 at the earliest. So I don't know what that's all about. Oh, I did my nails myself. I have gel builder on them from the nail salon, but last time I went to the nail salon, they just, oh, I was botched my nails, did not do what I wanted, walked out so unhappy, had to pay $55 for it. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna learn this myself. So I bought the whole like soft gel nail kit. Let me see how loud this is. Maybe I can do both and talk. So I bought the whole like soft gel nail kit from Amazon, like the Beatles one, it's 20 bucks. It all came in on Monday. I was like, great, I'm so excited. And I went to go take off my polish and the gel builder was like very strong on there. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna take that off. I'm just gonna paint over top of it. And it worked great. Look at these cute little glasses that I bought. <laughs> they are perfect for orange juice and espresso. Not mixed together. This is just orange juice. <laughs> Like I said, today is a busy day. And I like that, I like that a lot. So what do we have to do? 
Um, I need to schedule out all of the new Stride at Home uploads. Um, I edit and upload them, so every time I watch Stride at Home, you know where I came from. Show me some love. Um, I want to plan out my podcast. I want to record my audio podcast and send that over to my producer, but then I need to edit the video portion of the podcast, which there is a video portion of the podcast. It is brand new. This will be its second episode on video. The YouTube channel I'll have linked down below. It's a manifest with Tori DeSimone YouTube channel. It's just for the podcast. And I need to upload a couple of things to Instagram. And if I have time before I have to go to Stride, um, I want to do a newsletter for Stride of just a lot of stuff that we've been like talking about on social media. And then at 1.15, I have to leave here to go to Stride because I have trainings at 2, 3. And then I have an interview at 4.30, which I'm just going to take at the studio. And then I will get home around like 5 or 5.30 or something like that, probably 5.30. So we get a little bit of everything. We get Stride admin stuff. We get social media stuff. We get me going into the studio. Today is like a good day to film, and I didn't even mean for that to happen. But um, I was talking to my friend um, Chelsea yesterday about this, how one two three four five six seven how nowadays everyone seems to be wanting to fit in like one box and everything is one direction and you have one identity and one thing and i think what i really like about my life that i'm really proud of is that i feel like i'm very multifaceted meaning i have other things to me than just like posting on youtube about like my life like i don't i don't ever feel like i identify with like being an influencer because stride has given me a career and like substance to my life i feel like um so i liked showing off like multifaceted days on my youtube channel because my life is not just stride or just youtube or just a podcast it's very i put on a lot of different hats and i know a lot of people like seeing that and i know a lot of people like when people have even more hats on so anyway I think I'm going to listen to Gals on the Go as I do this schedule. Um, big week for the Gals. We had our first virtual live show. Brooke and Danielle to their boyfriends after this. What you doing? <laughs> it was a bad. I was on... What is in store on Melissa Wood Health today? 21 minute lower body focused flow. For today's flow, we will be focusing on the lower body. So really working on booty, inner outer thighs. I will be using, take those arms really, really long. Lift up an inch, drop it down an inch for 10. Nine, keep belly plugs in for eight. Nine, eight, seven, Six, breathe, five. I want you to think about the size of a tire of a car. So I just finished my workout. I'm so glad that I did it. I always just feel so much better when I'm done it. And like, that was exactly what I just talked about on my podcast. Like that wasn't like, some, I'm not sweating. Like it wasn't like a high intensity workout, but I was able to be consistent with it. And I just feel so much better after doing it. And I just feel like nice and tight and like, I just feel great after doing it. I feel tight, but I feel loose all at the same time. It's like amazing. But now I'm definitely hungry. It's about 11.30. So this is a typically about the time that I eat breakfast. So like I said in the beginning of this video when I was half asleep, um, Daily Harvest is so kindly sponsoring today's video. And they are one of my favorite sponsors ever because I, like I, guys, I genuinely love their stuff. And I mean, I love all my sponsored stuff, but I have purchased this stuff with my own money before and it is so good. I think the food is really amazing. And days like today where I'm going to be at the studio later as well, this comes in handy so much that I don't have to like get like food from Starbucks or something like that. This is just literally the best. My freezer is currently stocked with Daily Harvest. Um, I think I want an oat bowl today and... I typically go between the cinnamon and apple oat bowl, which I've had so many times, but I've never had this one. It's the cinnamon and banana oat bowl. So I think I'm going to do this one today and it has banana, oats, butternut squash, cacao, cinnamon, and reishi in it. 
and I also like to kind of doctor it up a little bit too so I'll add some other stuff as well but I don't always but I think today I'm going to now I like to do these on the stove top but you can totally do them in the microwave as well you'll have to excuse me because like I said I throw everything out when I moved and I threw out my like my saucepan and I don't know why I did that but I did so now I have to use like a pasta pot for my oatmeal so please excuse that um, but it's so simple let me show you guys what it looks like what I just love most about daily harvest is that you can just see all of the ingredients so like you can literally see everything in here you can see the oats the bananas every, like it just looks amazing so what you do you just pour it in the pot you can also like I said do this in the microwave but I'm gonna do it in the pot you can also eat it out of this which is amazing for on the go but because I'm gonna eat it at home I'm just gonna eat it out of a regular bowl you can also do these as like an overnight oats version which is super cool but I want mine warm this morning and then you're just gonna put in about half a cup of your milk of choice today I'm doing almond milk but you can do water oat milk regular milk soy milk anything works and then you stir it around and in a couple of minutes you will have an amazing oatmeal so what i really like about jelly harvest is honestly just how convenient it is and that everything is made from ingredients that i can see i know what all the ingredients are it is real whole foods that just make my life honestly really really easy it's an easy way for me to stock up on fruits and veggies that sometimes i don't always get and they're just frozen with really delicious meals like there's oat bowls there's smoothies they have ice cream um they have harvest bowls they have soups they have bakes like they have so much variety you'll never get bored plus everything tastes really really delicious it's really good and it's good for the planet as well it, they make it so easy like it literally gets delivered to your door and you just have tons of meals and the plans are really flexible so if you know that you're going to be using this like every week you can get a weekly plan if you know that you're going to only use like a couple a month you can get a monthly plan you can choose whether you want 9 through 26 items which is a lot of stuff like it's very flexible and if one week you need to skip a box you can totally do it no questions asked you can flip around your meal plans it's very flexible all their foods are gluten-free dairy-free and plant-based so no worries there and there's no junk in it there's never gums there's never preservatives it's literally just whole foods that you keep in your freezer there's over 100 options for any time of the day i just absolutely adore daily harvest it tastes so good it's just so convenient especially days where i'm like on the go and i want healthy food then i don't want to have to stop by like a fast food place california tortilla starbucks anything like that i just want like a smoothie or i just want oats that i can carry with me that i can bring with me and this is the way to do it it's so easy it's so convenient i've been using daily harvest for about the past three years i want to say definitely since the beginning of stride which stride is now three years old um just because of how like i say convenient it is and just easy it is to eat healthy with daily harvest i'm gonna leave a link down below for you guys to redeem my code to get up to 40 dollars off your first box which is a really really amazing deal i highly recommend it i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done in a couple of minutes and you guys will also see that i bring it to the studio with me later it's so easy and so convenient um, but i'm a huge fan of daily harvest thank you guys again for sponsoring this video i cannot wait to eat i am so hungry when i get hungry it hits me hard it hits me fast and these meals are really fast to prepare and they taste delicious and they're super healthy so for me it's literally win 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 i adore daily harvest and i know that you guys will as well so be sure to check out my coach with them lots of love all the support up to four dollars off your first box down below and yeah thank you guys yay oh my god i wish you guys could smell it the best part like the unboxing you get a lot like this is a high volume so this is what it looks like straight out of the stove and this is absolutely amazing i would totally eat it like this again this is everything that's in it banana oats butternut squash cacao cinnamon and reishi i am going to doctor it up just because i want to put a little bit of peanut butter and maple syrup and some craisins in it and that's also what I really like about Daily Harvest is that you can eat this as is and it is so delicious. Or you can kind of like doctor it up and make it your own, add in some things that you want and just like bump it up a little bit. You can also add like protein powder into this. Um, it's just so good. Okay, so I'm just adding in a little bit of peanut butter. Oh my god, it's amazing. And I'm doing a little bit of maple syrup. 
mixing that all together. And there you have it. I need to go out with people that I met like kind of recently. I just planned out my podcast. I really like it. This topic is all about workout anxiety. I feel like so many people, including myself, have workout anxiety that has been really like kind of rooted in the pandemic because a lot of people like fell off like workout routine and it's kind of a hard routine to instill again and I totally get it. It can be very intimidating and kind of scary. So I get it. All right, let's do this video podcast. I'll show you guys how I do it because it's kind of funny. This is literally what I do. So I use an iPad to record it and I actually just upped my settings. So now it's last time I filmed it was 1080 at 30 frames per second, but now I just actually changed my settings to be 4K at 60 frames per second. So it should look a lot better this week, which is nice. And I'm just gonna sit in that corner right there and record my podcast. Yeah, that's really all that I do. It's like so simple. And then I just record with that little microphone there and I just overlay the audio and video. All right, I'm getting ready to go to stride. I am freezing, but it's not that, like, it's cold outside. It's like in the 40s, I think. But that's pretty warm considering what we've been dealing with. I mean, yesterday was like 20 degrees and today's 40 degrees. So I guess that's nice. But let me pack up my bag with you guys. I'm gonna bring the tomato and zucchini minestrone soup. This looks amazing and it sounds really good. I've had this before, the sweet potato and wild rice hash. So good, but I want to try something new. At the studio, I only have access to a microwave. I don't have like a stove top there, but we do have a freezer, so I'm just gonna pop this in the freezer when I get there. But this sounds good. The tomato and zucchini minestrone with zucchini, tomato, chickpea, kale, black garlic, and basil soup. That sounds so good. All right, I'm gonna go get set up for training. I don't know if I will record this training um, because it's not, like the only thing I could record is me and it's literally just me watching and I don't wanna get copyrighted, so I don't think I'll record the training, but I'll catch up with you after, cause it's probably when I'll make some soup during my second training, which my second training is virtual. So, and it's also freezing here, I need to like up the heat. Look who joined the party, whoop whoop! Miss Kristen's here, and today's actually her three year anniversary! I made tried. it! She <laughs> made it the three year mark, okay. So I just finished my first training. I'm about to have my second training, but the second one is virtual. So it's really nice because I get to mute myself and eat during the training, which I can't get to do during the first one. But so I'm gonna do, oh, and Kristen says that she likes Daily Harvest too. I love Daily Harvest, it's so good. So convenient, right? I know, I like those little like bowls that they have. Oh yeah, me too. Yes, yeah. they're so good. I have some at my house, I almost yeah, brought them. If I knew you liked them, I would have brought them for us. They're so convenient. Yeah, they are. Yeah, because I just, you know, it's like we're in the car all the time. Like we're yes. on the go all the time. So it's so nice just to have those to like pop on in there. It's so nice. Deal her, so you gotta sponsor her. Like I said a million times, I'm doing the tomato and zucchini minestrone soup. It's my first time doing a soup with Daily Harvest. And because I don't have a stove here, I have to do it on the microwave, but it seems really easy. Add one cup of water and put it in the microwave for four to six minutes and stirring halfway in between, which means two sets of three minutes. That's how my mind works. Little ingredients, wait, let me show you actually. I have a good 15 minutes until my next training. Okay, let's put some water in this. I don't have a measuring cup. So good. Yeah, it does. I don't have a measuring cup, so we're just gonna eyeball it. Okay, I think I did about a cup, but I can always add more water if I need more water rather than take out water once it's microwaved. Dude, it is so cluttered back here. We have a million things. Okay. Look at all our Christmas stuff. <laughs> Wait, should we just, like, is this a fire hazard? Is it, is this Let like, me know. It's like a whole thing. Is this a fire hazard? I mean, it's just gotta be. I know. It's gotta be. <laughs> Every time I'm here on Wednesdays, I can always count on Kristen to be here on Wednesdays too. I'm always here. Which is so fun. Okay, this looks really good. 
It smells really good too. Mmm. I like it. I knew I would. I like everything. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. I have like 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes until I have to do my next training. Okay, Kristen and I and Jess have a Zoom call. Oh, and I also found a cake up here because one of our instructors, Babs, um, is a cake baker. And sometimes like, she'll bring in cakes or like cupcakes and stuff. And I found a cake up front and it was amazing because I got to eat some cake. She makes the best cake too. The best cake, the best. That one was really good. It was like fruity. It had um, like the the peaches in it that you like the dull peaches. Yeah, it was really that. good. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Sorry, it took us a, a minute. Hi guys. So it's actually the next day. I had a feeling that this would happen to me because I did. I was vlogging yesterday. I recorded a podcast and I had two trainings and an interview. It was a lot of talking yesterday, and. I don't have that in me. Like I, I'm an introvert. I really am. Like I, I don't have all that in me. So I had a feeling that when I was done at Stride yesterday, I was going to totally crash and just shut down and decompress. And that's exactly what happened. I left Stride. I got in the car and I was a zombie and I was so exhausted. I got home and I started that new inventing Anna show, which I have to say was extremely odd to watch after just finishing the Tinder Swindler. It is literally the same exact thing. Yeah, I just totally needed to decompress and I had a feeling that would happen and it did. Um, so I wanted to carry the vlog into today because it just sort of ended yesterday. So I want to bring it into today. Also because today is a pretty much like another pretty busy day. Also my washer dryer is going, if you hear that. Um, so today, I, today's fun. So this morning I have to do podcast ads, I have to edit the podcast video, I have to send all that stuff to my producer. Um, and then I have a sponsorship that I wanna plan out that I have the potential of filming this weekend if the products get in in time. In ideal world, that's how it would be because it like matches up perfectly. Um, and then I have lunch with my mom at 12. I have therapy at two. I have an eyebrow wax at 3.30. And I have dinner with my best friend Katie, as you guys know, and a couple of our friends down from the beach um, this th tonight at seven um, at this really, really good like sushi bar. All right, I have a couple emails to answer and then I'm gonna just get started with some work and then then I'm gonna make some coffee I'm just not ready for coffee yet I feel like I don't have much to say this morning I woke up just kind of mute you know so last week was my first week where I was like are we doing video or are we not something that I think a lot of self-employed slash work from home people struggle with including myself very much so is the need to fill every hour and when we work from home we think that we can't really have free time or that we have to just constantly fill and fill and fill everything when truth is sometimes you finish your work a little early like i just did it's 10 a.m and i just finished my work there's always things that we could do like i could go in and start making the stride CIL schedule. But the reality is I only have an hour and that's something that I like to get very lost in, very in like a productive flow state in. And I wanna dedicate like two hours to that. So I'm gonna wait until I have two hours and I'm probably gonna do it next week. Um, so yeah, there's always things that you could do, but it's also important to like appreciate the fact that when you work from home, you can have flexible schedule and you can have flexible hours. and. You guys might have like kind of picked this up with my vlogs, but the way that I tend to stress, I'm like 
chilling. The way that I tend to structure my day, it's just because this is too short. The way that I tend to structure my day is the morning is for me to work and stay home, get stuff done. I rarely schedule things like meetings before noon. Very, very rare because I always like to be home like the in the morning. And then the second half of my day is when I'll schedule calls, meetings, appointments, whatever I want to do, trainings, like I'll leave the house in the second half of the day if I leave it all. So that's why today I'm doing lunch with my mom because I haven't seen my mom in literally forever. Um, I say that, but it's literally been like two weeks. Like I, I always see my mom. So for me, it's like very dramatic. Um, I haven't seen my mom in like two weeks. So we're going to go get lunch and then I have therapy at two. And then my eyebrows, I need a little help. So I'm going to get them waxed. Um, I'm just waiting to get a couple things back, but that's on West Coast time. So they're not even, the, it's 7 a.m. over there. They're not even in the office yet. So I'll do that probably when I get back from dinner or back from eyebrow waxing if I have time before I need to start getting ready. And yeah, so what I'm going to do in this hour that I have to myself is read my book. And I'm gonna enjoy it. As I read my book, I'm gonna enjoy every single second of it. I'm reading Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. So I'm gonna read that, I'm gonna enjoy it, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I feel like when you're this pale, you just have to accept it. It's also 60 degrees out today, hype. But it's also supposed to rain all day, but blue sky. Okay, I got a chicken panini. Looks so good with pesto, tomato, mozzarella chips and you got a power bowl power bowl yummy chicken. looks so good i just got home look at my brows look how good i always get so red it's just my face when i get my brows waxed but they look so good i also have um them microbladed all from the same place they look so good i love a fresh wax which i never get I like never get my brows waxed because I always feel like I can just like do it myself but then I go and get it done and I'm like, wait, this looks so much better. I literally could have been at dinner with them for five days straight. Like that, I had so much fun. I love them. Um, it's so fun because I'm gonna see them this weekend too down at the beach. Because this weekend 
And I think I'm going to vlog this weekend at the beach too. Um, it's called Polar Bear. Well, actually it's now called President's Day weekend. But it used to be called Polar Bear Plunge. So I went so close to the plunge. But anyway, um, it's pretty much just like, like I said earlier. Bars, restaurants, everyone open. Yeah, anyway, it's just so fun. And I'm so excited to go. So it's about what time is it? It's like 10. Uh, yeah, it's like 10 p.m. now. Um, so I, let's see, tomorrow I have a spray tan at 10.30, oh, what I was saying, I think I'm going to vlog this weekend just because it's going to be a fun weekend, and I feel like I never vlog fun weekends, especially once at the beach, so I want to this time, so I'm going to go clean up my room, I have like a bunch of like outfits to put away from when I was getting ready, and then I'm just going to watch some housewives, eat some ice cream, and just finish up some work, um, which won't take long. It'll literally take me five minutes. And then I just want to get that stuff like exporting while I sleep. Okay, love you guys. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.